Hi guys and welcome back to Chips Green World. In this week's vlog we're going to be planting up the garden path. So while I finish off putting a layer of topsoil on, ready for planting, cue the intro. Hi and welcome back to Chips Green World. I'm Chip, this is the courtyard, that's good. Flower, that's Gypsy Boy. The work, the jobs. Join us on our adventures. Let's get to work. Right guys, finally getting round to planting up the garden path. Now the path's finally settled, I've added five buckets of topsoil, then give it a good sweep down and we're ready to go. Just need to bring the plants up from the courtyard. And for those who maybe missed the first part, building the garden path, go check out vlog 45, design and build an upcycled garden walkway. Right, that's all the plants up from the courtyard. Now let's have a look at what we're going to be planting today. So we've got two small ferns and a large fern. Four Sagina Irish mosses. And two Jessione labis. Four English lavender. And two Veronica lucky dips. As I have no idea what this is, hence the lucky dip. Right, before I start planting, let's sort the edge of the lawn out, reshaping the edge so it suits the design of the new pathway. Also giving me an extra bonus space for extra plants. And a quick update to all my subscribers, as you'll be unaware, over the last 10 days I've had corona, I've been really, really ill in bed, so I'm way behind in all my gardening vlogs. I'm on the mend now and feeling much better, and I'm hoping to be caught up soon, so please bear with me, and hopefully I'll be back to normal as soon as possible. Right, that's looking much better. Just a bit of a clean up around the edges and then we'll be giving it a little clip, tidy up around the bottom of the first stone. Then we're ready to start placing the plants. Shadier plants on the left, sunnier plants on the right. And the first one in is the Veronica Lucky Dip. And then we have one of the little ferns. Then the larger fern to the front. Then we have the two Sagina. These will be getting placed between the stones. Then we have a Jessione and uh, English Lavender going up the right hand side. Then another two English Lavender. Then another Jessione and one more English Lavender. Then it's just a case of moving them about and so you're happy with the position. As the effect I'm after is a mindfulness walkway. So you have to stop, think, look, so by the time you've got into the garden, you're completely focused on the garden. Right, I think that's looking quite nice. And finally, the last two are Gina. I think one there, and maybe one at the front, I think. Just there. Right, I think I'm happy with that. So let's get planting.
Right, so there we go, all planted up. Now to give them a good water and wash the stones down so they're all looking lovely and clean. And the only thing left to add is the poppy seeds and the violet seeds. Just a light sprinkling all over really. As this is what the pathway was made for, the poppies and the violets. So it won't be complete until they're in place. Oh, and look who's going for a mindfulness walk. It seems the pathway is working. She is stopping and thinking and contemplating. So yes, it's a success I would say. The mindfulness walkway. The more the plants fill in, the more focus you will need to give to the path. Having to focus on your steps down into the garden. So once you step off the end, you're completely relaxed and in the moment. And I'm quite pleased with how it's looking. It's got a lot of growing to do and the violets and the poppies have yet to come. So there'll be something to look forward to, but it's definitely a lovely mindfulness walkway now. You have to stop and think as you walk into the garden by the time you step off the end, relax. So that's it for this week's vlog guys. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you'll join me next time. But till then, bye now.